My name is Ayla and I'm a technical support specialist here at Profound Logic. Today I'd like to walk you through how to use Node.js with Profound.js, as well as give you an example of some things you can do with it. So what is Node.js? Node.js is JavaScript that runs on your computer. Normally, JavaScript runs on your browser and can only access your web page. But when you give it an environment to run on a machine, a whole new world opens up. This allows you to do things like access files on your computer, listen to network traffic on your computer, listen to HTTP requests your computer gets and send back a file, as well as access databases. Part of Node is NPM, the Node Package Manager. It is installed with Node. NPM in relation to Node can be thought of like this. If Node is an iPhone, then NPM would be the App Store. This is where users go to search for helpful libraries and modules to build their program with. Node is installed with YUM for an IBMI environment. Once you have used this to install Node, you will automatically have access to NPM and can use it to download the libraries. For this example, I'll be using PuTTY, a Unix terminal specific to IBMI, to run commands. Let me show you how that works. Let me open up PuTTY and log in with my host name, which is Power8. That will be different based on the system you're working with. And click Open. This will open up the PuTTY terminal where I will use my IBMI username and password to log in. Mine is a Dillis and my password. This will take me to the PuTTY command line here. Before getting too much into this, I'd like to explain how Node works in relation to Profound.js. Profound.js is one Node environment. Here, I can install NPM tools and build a more powerful program easier. Basically, I don't need to recreate the wheel every time I make a program. I can pull easily well-written libraries from NPM and install these dependencies to improve my program. I would like to give an example using Excel.js and installing that into my Profound.js directory. So let's take a look at what Excel.js is. So I'm going to go to my browser. I'll come back to that PuTTY terminal and we'll get more into installation after I introduce this. So um, I'm going to open up my browser and search Excel.js. This is how easy it is to find NPM libraries. This first result here is exactly what I'm looking for. Here are um, all the information I need on this specific library. You can see um, the installation command is npm i excel.js or npm install excel.js. There's the repository, homepage, and weekly download number, which is 481,000 per week. This tells me that it is a reliable, well-written library that frequently is used by a lot of people. So what is this library used for? So users who work in accounting or project management, for example, may want to use Excel.js to organize data in a spreadsheet. It's helpful for keeping track of orders, listing customer information, or really anything. It's an Excel spreadsheet that can be populated with really any data. So this library, along with Profound.js's business logic, is what I will be combining to give you an example. And let's get right into that. So to start off, I'm going to go back to my PuTTY terminal and navigate to the instance of Profound.js that I want to install Excel.js onto. That's going to be ADPJS. I'm going to use the CD command to enter it. And then the command npm install Excel.js. And this will take just a moment. All right, once that's been installed, I'm ready to start building my program. To begin, I need to start my server. I'm going to do that using the green screen. And to open the green screen, I'm going to use IBMI's Access Client Solutions. 
and the system name is Power 8. Again, that will be different depending on what your system is named. And then I'm going to select 5250 emulator. I'm going to sign on with my IBMI username and password. And I'm going to use the command start tcp server server splat pjs instance ad pjs. Again, that was the instance that I installed Excel JS library onto. So I'm going to run that command and you can see down here PJS server starting. Now I'm going to open up the IDE. And the next thing you want to do is create a new workspace to start building your program. That can be done through the button new up in the corner here and workspace. For the sake of this example, I've already put one together. So I'm just going to open up the existing one I have running. I've named it Excel JS example. Okay, the next thing you'll want to do is click new and then JavaScript file. I've already created the JavaScript file. I've made it named it make worksheet.js and it starts on line number two here requiring excel.js in the module with a variable var excel equals require excel.js this is so it can access that excel.js library then on line number five function make sheet so when you open up excel the whole thing is a workbook and then at the bottom, you'll see different tabs. Those are the different sheets within a workbook. So this is writing a sheet within a workbook. So we have variable workbook equals new excel.workbook. So it's creating that new workbook. And then variable worksheet, we're creating a new worksheet called customers, where we're going to display the data. Then on line number nine, worksheet.columns. Now we're going to create an array of the different columns that we want within our sheet. So the header is going to be first name and then the key is going to represent the column in the database file um, that we want to pull and then we're setting the width to 15 for the first name. And let me just show you where that data is coming from. So I'm going to open up IBMI's Access Client Solution and click Run SQL Script. And then I'm going to run this SQL statement. And this is the, um, the database where I'm pulling it from. So PUI train slash cusp PF, that's just something specific to profound UI. Instead of creating a whole new database, I'm just using an existing one we have. So this select splat, so select all from PUI train slash cusp PF. I'm going to run it. And you can see these are all the different columns that I'm pulling. So DBF name, DBL name, um, over here, DB add one, um, DB city, DB state, and DB zip. So this is where the data is coming from. All right, then on line number 19, worksheet.getRow1.font. Um, and then we're changing that font to bold and increasing the size. So we're changing the first row, which has those column headers, to be bold and increase in size. So the way I, um, the way I did that is looking at the Excel JS library, I'm going to go to the home page um, of the documentation here and scroll down and select under styles fonts. And you can see there's just a lot of information on how you can edit and customize these, um, these fonts within your program. So you can change the name, um, you can edit it to be Comic Sans, you could do Times New Roman, Helvetica, you can change size and then the bold, which is what I did, and so forth. There's just a lot of information here for, for you to play around with, which is pretty cool. So that's what I'm doing on line number 19. Um, on line number 22, we are using PJS query to get the database columns and add them in, or not, sorry, just uh, querying the database columns. So we're using a select statement from the PUI train library. Line number 25, this is loading 
um, the records into the workbook and looping through and adding the database records. So four variable row of records and then just adding them into the worksheet row by row. All right, and then on line number 30, this is um, workbook.xlsx.writefile, and then you have a backtick, durname, slash public, slash customers, xlsx. This writes the customer's worksheet to an Excel file. So um, in Node, durname is always the directory in which the current executing scripts, uh, script resides. So that's going to be a, a home slash adilla slash adpjs and then um, within that modules and then excel js example and then it's going to put it in public and then it's going to write the customers.xlsx and then line number 31 this is just another way to do line number 30 um, not using the backtick characters to make it a temperate template literal so just a different way to do it. Line number 34, pjs.define display. This API creates a rich display file object that can be used by the program. And that's named screen.json. Um, I'll show you that in just a moment. So this displays the screen after launching it. Line number 39, exports.default equals make sheet. This makes it so um, it can be called outside of the module. So that is the makesheet.js program. And now let's go over to screen.json. So the way I created this file was going to new and then rich display file. Then I went over to uh, widget sets and dragged on the accept button and just uh, named it, uh, set the value to download. Let me adjust my screen a little bit. And then on the on click property, I set the window.open API. And this will open the customer's Excel file. And then I'm just putting the path on where that customer.xlsx is going to be found for it to open. So that's all that's really going on on this screen.json. So back over here. What we're going to expect when we when we launch this is in the public folder, we're going to have a customers dot um, Excel file that's going to be created. So let's give it a try. Um, but before that, I want to make sure that I check and make sure that I have labeled this as an app start file by right clicking going to properties. I have OK. Now launch uh, launch app in browser tab. So this is what it's going to look like. It's just a blank screen with a download button. I'm going to click download and I'm going to open up that Excel file. So you can see that first line here has the increased font that's been bold. Uh, that has been changed to bold and we have the first name, last name, address, city, state, and zip of the customer which is all coming from my database and using the Excel JS library to format it into an Excel file. So I hope that you find this helpful and that you're going to use this information with ProfoundJS's business logic to build your own Excel files and organize your data. Thanks for watching.